Like all the videos on Psych and Catch channel are made possible by fans like you. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cosmic Star Hero and Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon, and I have already done the next five minutes of gameplay. That's right, I encountered yet another bug. This was a weird one though. It was like I unplugged an analog controller and then plugged it back in while holding down. <laughs> and, uh, screwing up the controls. I thought I was just constantly holding up. But it only did it after I found the next item, and hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm... <sighs> it's... it's frustrating, actually, because there's so much that I like about this game. And at the same time, I would really have to dock them many, many, many points on the mess of bugs that I have seen since the release. Like, I understand, you know, one or two at launch. I get that. I, I understand that. But the number of bugs combined with how long it took to develop the game and get it out is... I'll admit, I'm I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. And I say that with all the love in my heart, Zeboid Games. I think you guys are great. I love Breath of Death. I love Cthulhu Saves the World. Those games were not riddled with bugs, though. And I understand that this was, this was a large project for you. But guys, I would have been happy to wait another month <laughs> to get the game without bugs. Carrying on. <laughs> and slash at you. It was also, uh, it was explained to me, and this is something that I don't want to call the game telling me, but it is like the other Zeboid Games uh, entries where... Wait, how low are you? No, this is good. Um, it is like the other Zeboid Games where you grind by going into your menu and saying, I want to fight. So I can totally battle and grind whenever I want. Oh, he's still alive! How did you survive? I, I did combat almost exactly the same way. Alright, so it was down here. It was over this way. There's an item in here. It's an elixir. And it's... It's like a potion, but it gives 300 HP in one use. We're going to save before I do this, because this is where things get goofy. All right, I was able to get it. I went into my items. I swapped out the potion for the elixir. And then... It looks like I can still move. All right, we're good. Last time it locked up and uh, went into not responding mode... And then when it came back, uh, the, the input was just stuck on up. Oh, hello! That wraith has the crystal we need. Be careful, the wraith will grow in power as long as it stays here. Golly, I wish I would have brought somebody who could curse. We switched them out, because I'm a dork. That's right, that refreshes Unites. Um, I think for now we should just start out with... Okay, it's the Crystal Wraith. It's got 24,000 HP. It's weak to wind, which we don't have anybody in the party right now with wind, because I took her out. Grows ever stronger on Crystal Energy, because uh, the enemies in here have not been undead. Now, apparently, they are. Thinking drone attack for... Ignore... Defense? I'm thinking? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Stinging fly! 
And Pain Song, of course. This Pain Song is so good. Well, we got it out before he got poked at. Uh, pacifist Smash. Almost 2,000. Pass the vial. Might as well heat up. Just get that ball rolling. Stunned and vulnerable again. We're doing almost a thousand damage a turn, thanks to the drone and the pain song. go about doing this. Next item used has double strength. So we're what we're going to do, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to alchemize and then I'm going to prepare and then I'm going to hit him with a chill vial. That is my plan. It's exoskeleton. Why not? Try and counteract that vulnerable. Ooh, that sucks. It just keeps doing it. Ooh, and an inspire. Yes, let's inspire you too. Prepare. This damage had better be amazing. <laughs> Damage and, and curse. Perfect. Take that. Be cursed. Oh, he didn't get cursed. Disappointing. Pain song. Good stuff. Take that. And let's bomb him. He's almost dead, too. Ooh, hefty damage. I like it. Good. Be enraged at Finn. I'm okay with that. What are you at? You're at 2,000? He's pretty much dead. We'll take about 1,000 from... the song and the drone or I could crescent or I could cacophony and deal more damage to him I don't know how much it does let's try it let's just try it he's dead anyways oh it looks like the song is still going anyways does it not work as intended boom Get out of here, you. <clears throat> what you got there, Sybe? As you can see, without a power source, the counter device does nothing. But if we were to extract that crystal... gently <laughs> by smashing it. Now all I have to do is insert this and it should work.
Oh, hey! It works! With this much material, I'll be able to make enough counter devices to protect you and your crew. Let us return to your ship. Okay, everyone, you've been given a device that counters the influence of the Lumina device. Keep it on you at all times. Why do we need a counter if we already own the only Lumina device in existence? I'm afraid we might not own the only device. Saibi has detected some disturbing signals from the planet Nulup. Yes, I can detect my people crying out in pain on Nulup. I'm afraid a similar laboratory to the one on Romu may be on the planet. Nulup has been experiencing a series of abductions similar to those on Romu. I wonder if there's a connection. It's a definite possibility. Nulup has been tightening up security of late. It's unlikely they'll allow a large group to enter. I agree. Saibi and I will go alone. Everyone else continue to gather intel. We don't know what we're up against. And that worries me. Now, we could go to Nulup. But it has been pointed out to me that I didn't actually go back to the sheriff back on Romu. So we're going to do that. Pause, my man. How are you doing? I hope members of my species haven't caused you too much trouble on Romu. Well, no. Y'all are kind of weak. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was rude. Chan, my girl, how are you? That haunted mine sure was a trip. I'm relieved that Saibi is on our side, though. I hope his counter device works. Let's go check out those weird signals pinging us from Nulup, the birthplace of Gunmancy. I can't wait! Or, or, and I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, we could go back to Romo. <laughs> Yes, we can skip this cutscene. We don't need this. Looks like we still got the same old party with us. Head down to New Romu. Check in with the sheriff. Try and remember where the sheriff is. There he is. You tell the sheriff what happened with Enzo. I see. I suspected he was in cahoots with the mob, but to have it confirmed so plainly. In any case, thank you for your service. Please accept this small token of appreciation. We got the sheriff shield! I wish my deputies were so effective. If you ever want a job, give me a call. You've probably heard of me. Ron Sinbel, the most brilliant engineer on Neuromu. Um... Was this a job for Dave? I think we were gonna try something like that. Finn. Interesting. sure how to get him out. How much would it cost to free Mr. Ron Sinbell? Let me see. His casino debts come out to 20,000. Do we want to pay those off? Not... Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that seems like a lot. Checks my wallet. Oh, no, that's not much. <laughs> Gee, I didn't think you'd actually do it. Thanks! If you're as good an engineer as you brag, we could use you aboard our ship. Say no more. Your word is my command, Captain. Yay! He's joined our support character roster. With Rana's support, our characters will deal extra damage to robotic enemies. Handy. I don't know why you paid to get my husband out. He's just going to get thrown back in again. I'm just here to request access to the subway system. I just want to go to Las Rocas. Why does it have to be so difficult? I could have sworn that there was somebody I wanted 
Dave to talk to. Could have sworn it. Are they back on Arenu? Were they at the club? Let's, let's save. That's the wastewater plan. Is that the festival? Let's go check back at the club. Apparently I can't go that way. Because the top of this building is in the street. Um, damn. Hello, one new message from Lauren Gambino. Thanks for stopping by, Chon. Have some fun on the house. You got 20 crit. <laughs> I have a feeling we were supposed to check that earlier. Um. Man. I cannot remember who it was that I wanted Dave to talk to. God, that's bothering me. Was it in the shelter? Have we been in the shelter? I've wanted to open a store here for years, but I'm 3,000 credits short. I know this sounds crazy to ask of a stranger, but can you help me out? I'll pay you back, I promise. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Only give away money you are willing to lose. I... 3,000 is low enough. I don't care if anything actually happens with that or not, but I'm willing to take a chance. Feels like less volunteers come to help these days. Sleepy, sleepy, sleep. I've heard this fine establishment isn't exactly on the up and up, if you know what I mean, but who cares? A bit of warmth, a bit of food? That's more than most people would ever give you. Gramps there has been muttering nonsense ever since a family member brought him to this place. No, I didn't mean to. Please, I'll do better next time. Please. Food's made of discarded factory waste. Buddy, can you spare a cred stick? No. Sometimes I wonder what happens to the ones who don't come back. The food's terrible, but it beats dirt. Kevin. Alyssa LaSalle, I remember when you visited our humble shelter before. Of course, I had no idea you were a prominent secret agent then. Gehenna Shelter is sustaining itself nicely these days. Do you think you could use my skills on your team to fight back against corruption? Kevin Clark has been recruited. Ooh, boy, gruel. So we did manage to pick up a new party member. Not who I was aiming for. 
Okay, so there's Ron Sinbell. Gives us 20% against robots. Kevin Clark, regen 15 HP. I like it. I like that a lot. Oh, are we still having this exact same conversation? We are. Can I go in here? No. Man, who was it? If you guys are wondering if I'm going to spend the rest of the episode doing this, you're you're right. I, I am going to spend the rest of the episode doing this. Going back, looking for stuff that we might have missed. That is part of the joy of an RPG. Poking around. Looking for stuff that we might have missed. Without spoilers, by the way, I don't mind if you guys point out something that I might have missed. Don't be like, hey, you missed such and such and such and such. But be like, hey, remember this area? Go back there. That's cool. That's fine. This seems familiar. Skybreaker. Hey, wait, aren't you Alyssa LaSalle, the heroine who died at the Freedom Festival? I got it. You just pretended to be dead, so you could go undercover. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you, fellow. I've heard that researchers at Skybreaker's Tower... Skybreaker Towers are busy designing a brand new class of giant warrior mechs. How cool is that? Is that the one that attacked the city? I think this is a bust. We could go check out the arcade. There's supposedly an arcade down there. Is it worth checking out the apartments? Apparently we can't go in. Can we go in here? Oh, wait, that's the old uh, hideout. There's always time to play games, Alyssa. I guess that's it for uh, this area. When we come back next time, we will head off to Planet Nulip. Oh, is this where you hang out, Sybe? The crystalline material has refractive properties that, when primed, could dampen corruptive mind waves. We must make haste to the planet of Nulip. The signals emanating from their surface are nearly exact match with the mind waves generated by Lumina. We must find the source, lest our enterprise is all for naught. Sounds good. All right, for real reals. Saving the game now, signing off. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm your host, Saigon, and this has been another episode of the Cosmic Star Hero and Let's Play. See you all next time. Take care. <laughs>